Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will presenting to you uh, about my project, uh, project three, which is a studio pod. Uh, studio pod. Uh, this is the uh, previous project for my sem, uh, first sem. Uh, this is the final project uh, semon. Okay. Before going further, I like to share a bit uh, about the design brief. Okay. Uh, uh, what is what has been stated in the design brief is first the size of the studio pod is only about a twelve meter square. This is not large. Space, just a small space that can be uh, can be one person in the pot, uh, and then uh, which we need to design a student pot uh, for ourselves. Uh, this student this studio pot has be designed uh, for ourselves, which means. Uh, this studio pod is designed for the architecture student. We need to consider the activities and the sound requirement for the architecture student. Uh, okay, and uh, that's a bit uh, about the brief. And I will I will continue to the to the project. Uh, first, I will talking about the issue. Uh, the issue that I have come up uh, to the design uh, the issue that relate to the design is uh, first there are no personal space uh, for the architecture student in the studio uh, which means uh, as we know we architecture student are gathering together in the one studio uh, which means that uh, we, are, we don't have any specific place uh, like a personal room or something like studio pod uh, in the studio we just have a table, drafting table for each of us uh, to do the work and then uh, the issue is architecture student needs a uh, Personal, uh, personal workplace that are uh, semi privacy, uh, which means sometimes, sometimes we can get privacy and sometimes we can open it to the to the public to interaction uh, with someone else, and then uh, 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 the student. Uh, the architect student uh, need a personal workplace that have semi privacy and can do a multi purpose, which means we can do uh, the yes, do the architecture work in there and, and, and at the same time possible to do another team activity in there. And then uh, we consider the last thing. The last issue is uh, to have the conducive uh, environment in the studio, uh, in the pod itself. Okay, uh, I will continue to uh, with the concepts. I came up with the concept of the grateful to space. Why I choose the concept of grateful to space is because I want to uh, grateful to space means. Uh, to utilize all the space and no have uh, do not have the negative spaces, which means I will use all the spaces. Uh, uh, the space that we get we get is just twelve meter square, which means I will use the twelve meter square space. Uh, fully totalized. I will maximize use the space uh, because uh, I want to use I, I want to maximize the use of space and the spaces will 
uh, and I will design it the design that all the space have the functioning, uh, not the wasting space or empty space. Uh, that the concept uh, of my, of the grateful to space, and then uh, uh, yeah, the concept I have been come up. I have some uh, nakli refer to it. Uh, which the nakli is from hadis, uh, hadis uh, riwayat Muslim, uh, which means uh, oh my servant, uh, I have forbidden injustice uh, for myself and I forbidden it among you, and so do not oppress and of another. Uh, what I can get from this nakli about the hadith this hadith is say about the uh, injustice about the uh, in Arab we call zalim zalim uh, what, what, we, what, we, uh, what means by zalim is we put something not to the place we not we not put the something not to the right place which means uh, in term of design, we designing the something that ways. Uh, I gather this. I get this. Uh, I I refer to this nakles nakle because I want to make a design that all the design I make have a de have the functions and not waste and not waste the uh, and not the not the just a design of the art uh, not functioning i want to make a design that all the space and the design there have the functions okay uh, and then uh, i continue to the uh, design uh, in the making design uh, the ideation that i came up uh, in designing my studio pod is I get from the spaceship a space I get from the space capsule uh, if you can see the board I make I take the uh, as one example I have many reference about the capsule but I take one example is the sample uh, space capsule Apollo 11 command module. module. This is one uh, astron astronaut capsule that uh, used to sending astronaut from the space back to the Earth for the landing capsule. Okay. Uh, what I can, what I get from the addition space refer to the my design is. Uh, if you know the spaceship capsule uh, model, you can see uh, this. Uh, the capsule is not a large or the big. Uh, don't have a large or huge, a big space. It's just a, a small compact space. But you can locate three or two people in there, which mean uh, he use totally use the space in the in the capsule to be fit the three or two men people in there, the astronaut in there. What I can see is the. The limited space of the capsule, uh, but they are can make uh, the astronaut can sit comfortable in there, which means they can get, uh, they can have, they have water supply in there, oxygen, uh, food, uh, can put some computer to communications, and also they are comfort uh, sitting there. Uh, if you know, uh, it will be a long time. Uh, we spend a long time to from the space and the 
spaceship to space module to the to drop uh, into the atmosphere and drop to the earth it may a, a, a quite a long time but the design of the module made the uh, astronaut feel comfortable when sitting there uh, I want to I refer to this because I want to make the design that compact uh, compact but uh, have a conducive and can do activity in there okay uh, I go to the design process if you can see my design process is I starting with the cuboid because the cuboid is the fully uh, the maximum space that I can use uh, compared to the circle and another shape and then I blend some with the uh, astronaut itself shape to make it uh, more spaces of the above part and then I come up with something like that this as uh, the space something like a huge uh, some space on top and the thing for the label above but if you can see look uh, you can see uh, carefully you can see the uh, floor plan uh, the uh, at the outside we see like uh, have the small part and and the upper have the bigger part but if you can see the floor plan it just a continuous space that's uh, I will use the square shape uh, for the shape and then uh, for the I put some framing you can see that have a thicker line outside the outside the outside the pot you can see the on the elevations I have made a Z something like Z uh, shape there is because of the of the at the uh, at the front side I will put the drafting table uh, the drafting table um, will hanging at the edge and the front and that at this case uh, with that will make uh, some heavy weight at the front and then I I came up with the design of uh, Z shape because uh, that's a, a design that can support for the more efficient of balance of the drafting table and make it function as well there and then uh, another reason is for the strength and the structure of the framing of the of my studio board and then uh, if you can see uh, I make the four hole at the at the edges that is for the for the ventilation uh, ventilation flow uh, ventilation uh, which is for the wind flow for the air flow uh, in the in the pot which means the air can go from below and can 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 enter from the below to the into the spot into the pot and can go up from the above from the above of the spot studio pot okay for the opener uh, I make I I make many opener for the pot uh, if you can see I have the opener at the right left uh, front uh, rear and uh, some uh, top at the front and uh, at the left uh, wall I make a uh, opener to the entrance uh, of the pot and we have the the both side have the have the opener 
uh, at the top uh, at the the front which mean the both side uh, opener that have the arranged uh, vertical board there that can fold to open and close uh, when the when the vertical board is close it will uh, it float it will close become the facet to cover cover it and when it open we will we will have a gap at the range of the board at the gap we can put something in there uh, like uh, put a book uh, something can put there and the function of the arranged vertical board is for the light shading and the, also for the floor of the air uh, and then uh, the range of the vertical vertical board is to make uh, people outside uh, hard to see uh, people inside the pot but the people inside the uh, the pot can see through the vertical board to see the outside uh, that's the function of the vertical board that I put at the the both side of the opening and then uh, I have the two with two opener at the at the rear that's uh, the simple just opener for the back and and then I have the the big opener at the front uh, above the drafting table uh, when I want to start a drafting I I can open the the opener at the top at the front I can open it to make uh, have the more size wide angle to to build it when make a sketching on make an architecture architecture work we know when we start uh, to drawing or sketching something we need a space to ticking and look uh, for some and searching for idea I make a uh, when it open we have a uh, extra space and that make space to more comfort to breathing to seek the idea for that teacher uh, while we draw it and then uh, for the storage I make the storage uh, at the first, uh, at the wall you can see at the below of the drafting at the side of the drafting table I have a cabinet I sit I set that to put the some uh, equipment to draw equipment of drawing our pencil or marker there and then for the book and the large thing to store I make a hanging hanging cabinet uh, at the top hanging at the top of board I mean it located at the at the back of the head and the side of the of the right if I'm not mistaken is uh, at the right we have the hanging cabinet uh, when we are doing uh, the sketches and we have we want to grab some item we just need to stand up a bit and and we can grab the upper thing at the on the cabinet upper and then uh, for the uh, for the facade I make the facade with the uh, this is the interior facade uh, I make it like something like cushion to the facade because I want to to show the the texture of the uh, the feeling of the space uh, uh, spaceship uh, capsule which mean uh, uh, if if we can if if we uh, sit in the pot we can feel something like we we sit uh, we in the spaceship uh, capsule uh, and then uh, uh, 
the activity can occur there is actually I have two I have two table. The main table is drafting table, uh, which for sketching for architecture activity. And the at the left, at the right uh, wall, I attach the the uh, the table, the small table that can be uh, put. And we can open it for the another activity like we can have lunch there, uh, playing uh, playing games. Uh, open laptop to surf internet and reading and another activity is we also can sleep in the pot uh, how we can sleep in the pot uh, by the by foot the uh, the sketch the drafting table can be fold uh, when we fold the uh, sketch uh, drafting table and the second table we can get the white space, the uh, the huge space that we can uh, bend, uh, bend, bend the chair to make it in the position of uh, something like uh, a landing. Uh, we can expand the chair to make it uh, like a place we can to land, uh, to land there. Uh, and then you have the extra when we flip the table there uh, and then uh, another activity is we also can having a click session while in the pod uh, this is uh, what, uh, where we can have this a click session is uh, first at the drafting table also because we have opening there the lecture can uh, come at the front and see what we're having and we can have discussion a bit at the front and we also have the second table at the back also can uh, to do a discussion uh, at the at the table um, I think uh, that's all I sharing a bit about uh, the design that I have designed about my studio pod uh, that's all for me thank you